Welcome back to Dynamic Designs Web Development Firm once again. This is a bunch of links. How to install your Quake drop-down terminal. Just for the record, um, we will be doing more videos on specialized packages in Ubuntu Linux. Uh, some of the more hidden packages and programs. If you're new to Ubuntu, you might be surprised to know that it is notorious for having a mass amount of proprietary packages well into the hundreds of thousands all free of course the interesting thing I found out about using Ubuntu is when I started to use it I found very high-tech programs, if you will. Programs that if you were to use in a Windows platform would cost you well into $20,000 for that piece of software. I will go over some of these packages in another video. MATLAB is one of them. 
interesting to know. Look that up if you don't know what it is. We are still waiting for the quake to finish installing. It's a relatively large package. Processing triggers. Get it and drop down in just a second. As soon as it's done processing the triggers for it to start, you'll notice KVE in the installation package and setup. If you don't know, KDE is a interface environment separate from GNOME. The interface that you see here by default on Ubuntu Linux. Essentially KDE is a little bit more lightweight, not as aesthetic looking, uh, comes in a nice sort of blue themed. This is actually the OS uh, slash interface used in the movie The Social Network on Mark Zuckerberg's laptop in the beginning and again in the end so now that we got your quake you should be able to press F12 by default and get a drop down it does not work You might have to use Alt key like me. Or the FN key. I'm not even sure if it's started or not. So we're going to check processes here real quick. And then we're going to search for Quake and there it is grep says you Quake is running grep will be in another video also so PKO Quake and we're going to start it over again drop down right about now there we go there's our up 12 uh, be a good idea to keep that the way it is it's really hard to change once you set it but there is our KDE terminal has all the same functionality, just a little bit more lightweight and faster as compared to the known terminal. Control C to quit that. Exit to exit. Well, we should still have, of course, and 
that's that for this video.